Oh no! Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. Now then, in this video, we're making a body for the Great Guitar Build-Off. If you haven't seen the previous video to this where we design it, links in the description down below. Do check that out. It's going to be amazing. Either that or I've massively bitten off more than I can chew. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, so we've got these great big chunks of church pew that we're going to make a guitar body out of and carve some angel wings in. So this is a God Divine project. We're, we're all set here. Uh, there's a few nails and things like that in there. So I've got to be a little bit careful planing this. Don't want any metal to ever touch my plane blades. <sighs> oh no. Um, so that's going to be today's task is putting these in the right place that we can chop and change, glue them together to make a body that's big enough and then figure out how we're going to make it all. Ah! Oh, it's busy and exciting. Right, should we tuck in then? So the first thing to this is to be checking out on the surface to see if there's any nasty things like that. See that? That is a nail. Now there's a big crack along there. Uh, but you know what? I think I like that crack. If I can get that to be in part of the the guitar as the abused guitar that needs protecting, ooh, I like that. Right, I'm going to see if we can keep that trusty old screwdriver type thing. I wouldn't dream of using a chisel on here to try and get these out, by the way. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go, that's got that prized. Can we get in there? Yeah. Well, oh, they're not too bad. Oh, look at those beauties. Handmade nails. I don't get those anymore. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, right, I think <laughs> I found them all. Um, well, we'll see in a minute, won't we? Uh, right, I'm going to give this um, a quick run over with the plane just so we can see what the wood itself looks like. Get rid of this dark stain that's been put over the top. And then I'm going to try and line it up with the original drawing to see where these grooves are going to fit uh, to hopefully not screw us all up completely. Here's the two big lumps of wood that we've got. These are my big issues. So I've cut out the pattern that I want. I just now need to try and get these to fit inside the, the cavities or at least under the pick guard. So they're going to be out the way, not interrupting uh, with any of this carving that's going on. Um, I think that's probably going to be the easiest one to sort out first um, because we've got a large area on this side so that we should be able to hide that in there quite easily. I've put a little fold along here should make that easier to line up along the edge. Where's the hole? There it is. So that way a little bit. In fact if we line it up with that, that edge of where that cut's going to be that actually, yeah, that's fine. That's going to work lovely there. Okay, so that's that one. That's easy enough to sort out. This one could be a bigger problem because there's not enough space on here, I don't think. Uh, right, let's move that in. Let's have a look. Where are we looking? So I want this half. See, that's, that's just way too deep. If I go from the, the, that edge across the center line, that's going to dig into there. Yeah, so if we go from there, that's, that's way up in here. Right, what about there? That goes like that to that edge. Where is that? Ooh, hey, look at that. Right, okay, so that divot underneath is running along that edge. It comes under here, slightly larger than we would normally have for our... Uh, pick out cavity but it's still going to be underneath the pick guard it's not going to interrupt any of the carving any of the wood we're actually going to see so yes I'm going to take that right so it does mean again I'm just going to draw around that section for now that excess that we can get rid of doesn't interrupt these little carving bits up here as well which is nice let's just do that and 
I'm going to mark off that point there and that point there for our centre line. Those two parts fell apart. Moment of truth as we unclamp. Okay. Still holding in one lump, which is good. Let's bring you off there. I have to take a deep breath after all that sign. I'm knackered. Uh, right. So that crack runs through. You can see this is where the neck pocket's going to be. And this is the lower horn. Um, that section there. So this crack runs right into the body. So most of that will be under the pick guard on, on the front section, obviously not on the back. And you'll see this crack on the end as you're looking in that way as well, which I really quite like that. It seems to stop here at this knot. It doesn't seem to go any further than that. Right, well now that we have two halves of very roughly shaped out wood, um, now I'm going to plane off the tops to make sure they're nice and flat. I want a flat surface uh, to begin with, it's going to help me to get the, the routed sections out. And then to joint these edges uh, 90 degrees to that, so we have two perfect flat surfaces to start working from. So let's sharpen the tools and crack them with a bit of planing. Time to get the big guns out. If that doesn't get you a flat and level, well, nothing will really. What have we got now? Oh, ho, 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 ho. like that. I like that. So, before gluing this on, I think I want to think about this crack here and do I want to stick a big dowel rod that you're never going to see just to help support that. I think I do. There we go, so three dowlings shoved in with plenty of glue filling up now. Now, what I wasn't expecting, as you can see, it's just starting to seep out of that crack a little bit there. Now, if we look round on the back, it's really seeping out of that crack, which is beautiful, because it means it's really kind of soaking through and spreading out through there. So I'm gonna clamp this now. I'm gonna clamp this one shut to make sure that glue's gonna set really nicely. Uh, once that's done, we can plane those bits off um, and then join the two halves together and we'll have a, a nice body.
Well, there we are. We now have one big guitar body. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? Right, so um, the next thing then is to start shaping it properly. Okay, so in the next video, coming to you soon, um, we're going to make sure that the edge of the guitar is cut properly to shape, and we're going to cut out the pick guard, which will then effectively give us the guitar part down the middle that will be uh, routed out to a flat surface at the correct height and then we'll do all the routing for the pickup cavities and things like that as well and we'll see if we can flip it over and do exactly the same on the back so join us for that one that's the bit of a, the kind of guitar-y stuff and then we'll get into the real carving after that okay if you like what you've seen don't forget to click subscribe smash the like button um, check out the other video for the design process and this little playlist down here might be a bit of fun for you as well and then go and sharpen your tools and I'll see you soon.